On Monday, the University of Finley hosted the Ohio U.S. Senate Republican Primary Forum. Voters had the chance to listen to three candidates right here on this stage. The hour-long event hosted in the Weinbrenner facility on the university's campus brought in nearly 250 attendees. The event was also broadcasted by Spectrum News 1 Ohio, who gave access to the forum for others interested in viewing the discussion. The crowd was lively and were asked at the start of the event not to clap hands between questions. Still, they used these forms of approval to support answers heard from candidates Matt Dolan, Frank LaRose, and Bernie Moreno. The tickets for the forum were divided between different supporters. Each of the three candidates received 50 tickets. The Ohio Republican Party received 50 tickets, and the University of Finley received 50 tickets. The turnout for spectators brought in Union County Republican Party Chairman Gary Conklin, students from UF and other universities, and different political figures. Well, I thought uh, the University of Findlay uh, did an excellent job uh, facility, but also the people uh, all involved and everything came together very nicely. And uh, I think Spectrum did very well. And uh, so it was a, a good, successful evening, I think, like that. I think the uh, candidates had a good opportunity to talk and uh, answer questions, so I think it was really good. The mayor of Finley, Christina Murin, made an appearance at her previously attended university and showed support for her city and Dolan by wearing a sticker with his name. You know, I'm really proud that Finley was able to host the event. I think it's great for us to continue to get uh, recognized across the state, but definitely for our residents to be able to understand more about the candidates that they have in, as options on the primary election. The candidates each were asked to answer questions within the 90-second period and given some follow-up time to respond to other candidates' answers. The candidates offered insight to viewers on many hot topics within politics, which gave those listening a better understanding of their specific views. It was nice because like, you really never hear anything about like what, cause it's like a local, not local election, it's a state election, you don't hear it on national media, so it's nice to hear them clear up their positions in person. The three candidates are working to connect with current and potential supporters as they face each other in the upcoming primary election on March 19th, with hopes to take on Senator Sherrod Brown in November. Voters will get the chance to use what they learned at tonight's forum with early voting starting on February 21st. I'm Ellie Jansen with Pulse TV.